Allen. Holy jeez. I oh, haven't seen that wow. guy in a long time. My goodness. That's new. So is that... This is a Korgic hero. Yes. Pretty much guaranteed. For S4 and mid, I think. S4 mid Jakiro. Wow. Mm. So I was expecting a storm or something like that. Definitely throwing out a loop. Yeah, this feels like one of those things that they just went into their back pocket, pulled it on out, and went, what do you think about that? They went, we want to push you guys like 20 minutes again, and this time we have a draft that's tailored for it once more, even yeah. without our chin. So Lena's going to be the second support okay, for Okay, well, there's IG. the setup with disruption, at least. That's decent partner here. Uh, I'm curious to see this Jakiro matchup, because generally Jakiro versus Quap will be heavily Quap favored, has longer range, has better damage. Uh, Liquid Fire is not good on the low levels, but starts getting really good at level 3 and 4. Yep. Uh, but there's the there's a wild card in Drow Aura that tends to have a pretty big effect on uh, the laning stage. So maybe S4 can get away with it here. Well, you do have a couple of gap closers for Drow in the Axe, and technically Brood, and to some degree, obviously, Queen of Pain. Uh, I, if this is a tri-lane act Shadow Demon Lina, that's exciting. Is that what's gonna happen here? I would love to see that. And then they put Brood 101 against uh, LC in their own safe lane. Yeah. So it's aggro try with Axe, Shadow Demon Lina. Very high risk. <laughs> very high risk, high reward. Uh... Okay, my, my stomach, come on. I need a better angle. Wobble, wobble. Thank goodness they get me. I had my feet up behind my ears. It's pretty hot, not gonna lie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we get any more sexual here, let's go over the lineups for IG. We have Luo playing the Broodmother Faith on Shadow Demon, which is Purge's favorite hero, by the way. He's been basically what you guys are for Coddle. Purge is for the Purger yeah, Shadow Demon. He was creaming over it. Burning's gonna be playing the Axe. Oh, man. Ferrari on the Queen of Pain. And last but not least, Chun on Lina. And first Team Secret, S4 will be playing the Jakiro as expected. Puppy onto the Dazzle. We've got Arteezy Drow and Kuro on his Visage, and then finally that does leave Zai on the LC as expected. I think, like, if you look at how this laning phase is gonna, phase is gonna pan out, if IG go for this aggressive trialing with X, if that lane fails, they're actually screwed. Like, that's how important. You, we talk about many times how try versus try lane matchups can like have a really big impact on the game. If one team wins, it's not one hero that loses the lane, but it's three. Uh, but and you would be going up against... Are we going to get these lanes, though, is the question. I mean, Visage and Dazzle are amazing in tri-lanes. Drow, I wouldn't say is that great, but considering you have two supports like that, ends up being really... Especially if you hit level six eventually, but... Yeah, it would be risky, no doubt about it. It is match point for Secret. They win this, they move on. IG lose this one. They're not eliminated, but they do get shoved down in that lower bracket. This action does begin. Just quick shout out to Weppas, who's going to be doing our OBS locally. And of course, we got Knoxville, as you can see, who's going to be providing our in game stats. Awesome. Kuro has played Visage 73 times. Yeah, this is actually really. That. It's really interesting to see the stats with. Some uh, some very trademark heroes and some very not trademark heroes. First game for Zion LC ever. Who do you think plays a better visage, Kuro or Aoi? Yes. <laughs> That's the safe answer. Very good. So At least you won't be wrong this time, right? Interesting. Well, they put gonna... Drow versus Quap. Okay. Aggressive trialing with wow. Jakiro. And then LC is going to have an awful lane. But once again, maybe Secret are okay with this trade off. Uh, getting Zai to be sacrificial this Yeah, time. so Faith and Chuan, right now they're just roaming a bit. I don't I mean if they leave Axe versus Legion Commander, who do you who do you take in that match? If it's a 1v1, let's say. Axe. He beats every military in the game. Mm -hmm. There's gotta be one. But Dark Darkseer can creep up and stuff like that, and then Darkseer they don't actually creep. fight, but I I don't think LC can beat an Axe in lane. She can do better than most melee heroes, I guess, but she should still lose. Alright, overall, the way the lanes are set up, it's gonna be probably a going to be pushing, but who needs to switch things up here? Zai It's going to take a stun after the disruption. Not going to be a kill, though. And Secret getting extremely aggressive on the tower with that level 1 liquid fire doing work that fortifies forced out pretty much right away. Did, which team does benefit these lanes? Secret, I think. Uh, so do you think IG needs to switch this up immediately? Put Brute bottom? I don't know if they need to do it immediately, but they need to get something done with their supports. Looks like oh, they, wow, they really want Zai. 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 Zai.
Okay, disruption is available. Burning wants to lock him in with his Berserker's Call, and here we go. This might be the first blood. Zai taking a lot of damage, another LSA to come, and first blood goes the way of IG. They're on the board first. And who got that? That was Shadow Demon, actually. Yeah, Faith picks it up. Nice opportunity to get the call with the creeps nearby, getting those extra spins. And they already know that Secret are busy trying to get this tower as fast as possible top, so no one's going to be rotating, so they're free to dive and do as they please. Yeah. Want to look a little bit at the mid lane. Actually, it seems pretty even right now between Arteezy and Ferrarius. That power will inevitably go down up here. Arteezy is hitting on 10 and 2, and Ferrari 10 and 4, so... Considering that Arteezy has only had to use one Tango in this mid lane so far, he's doing a really good job, and as a result, I think IG, they realize this is not going according to plan. They were probably expecting maybe their Quap to win a little bit more. They obviously can't see the CS, but you generally have a feeling. Yeah. Uh, but Arteezy's mid lane Drow, he is very, very good at playing this here in this position. Now, we're, we're, we're seeing a lot of Drows completely skip over Ice Arrows now. We saw a lot during the Red Bull, maybe one value point. I never got the chance to actually find out the legitimacy behind that. What is it? That is it just not worth it? It's better just go more into the stats. You don't really need the benefit of slowing them down or I think a lot of the strategies revolving around Drow are forcing the enemy team into fighting you by hitting towers. Mm -hmm. And the frost arrows obviously do nothing. And yeah. then when the fight breaks out, the enemy team will commit onto the Drow anyway. And then her frost arrows don't really matter when they're on top of you, then it's just about surviving. And then the stats give you that extra bit of health that can make a difference. Um, in addition to, of course, helping him last in lane, he, he acknowledges the fact that he can't beat a Quap in lane in terms of harassing her out of lane, so why still the cross arrows when you can maybe get a couple of extra last hits with, a, with the extra four damage from two stat points. Oh, we're going to have rotation from IG looking to stop this push. Corruption really onto S4 so into an LSA. Seeing Luo do a little bit of damage to S4. He's going to have to back off, though, because the damage is absolutely ridiculous with the soul assumption from Kuroki and whatnot. Ferrari. They're gonna trying to go for S4. They're going to get the kill one way or another. The deny will not be there. <laughs> Queen of Pain getting the last hit there. And Kuroki on the run. That was pretty funny. There were like three heroes completely mistiming the last hit there. Ferrari has blinks. It's one of the longest blinks in the game. He's just going to TP though. Yeah. Back to mid lane. Where RTZ will be going for this, uh, this top illusion rune. So one for one trade. Secret with a tower advantage. Still looking pretty good. And of course... With IG rotating their supports, as I think they had to, this does open up for Zai to get some good experience. He's still losing the lane quite heavily, of course, against Axe, but... S4 rotating to bottom now. Liquid fire to Palm Burning. Looks like they just want to go with this Tier 1. They're just going to set things up and... I'm not sure if they're going to put Zai in a different lane or just going to continue to push with them. Um... When you're playing L... We don't see LC very often. Like we talked about, a lot of times we see it on Cloud9, and... Honestly, the win percentage is pretty damn low overall. Um, but in this case, of course, it was picked against the Brood. You go for Blink right off the bat with LC. The Grand Destruction mid, trying to block things off with the Illusions. Arteezy taking a lot of damage. Looks like he's going to fall. And down he goes again to the Shadow Demon. So two kills for that bad boy. It's it's so important for IG that these rotations work. If these ganks fail and Arteezy just gets to farm, Secret's game plan will be coming together very quickly. So just uh, disrupting them a little bit here in the early game is is key. It also opens up the map a lot. They force the TP out from the Dazzle, who was there too late, so they get some information out of that. And of course, might be able to now go for a kill in the top lane, knowing that he can't be there if, if they want to try for that. Of course, oh, no, they could also just have the Brood up here one on one. Uh, to answer your question about Legion, I don't know if if uh, Blink first is the right call here. I think maybe Zai wants to tank a little bit, maybe like Treads. Perhaps really on the bottom again. Into Slowcatcher burning with the call S4. Oh, LSA will miss, but it might not matter. Graves gonna save him, at least for now. Burning on the run, oh, taking the liquid fire. Too. What wow! A disaster. Big turnaround for Schwan on the run, taking a soul assumption. A couple more right clicks will take him out, and that's a two for nothing. And S4 lives on the Jakiro. Those are the kind of mistakes that tend to be game deciding. That was just all out mechanical misplay. Very rare from IG, and instead of just getting what would have been a kill, they die too. This is like the worst kind of thing that can happen. They miss the Light Strike Array after Berserker's Call, and they miss the Calling Blade, which is their counter to Dazzle's Grave, so... Very uncharacteristic, and like Connell talked about in the last game, are they just having a bad day, a little bit tilt mode or nervous? I don't know. They're a very experienced team, shouldn't really be nervous even going up against such a strong opponent, but... In the uh, hotbed interview with Chuan, Chuan 
seem pretty confident that they would get the revenge and they would be the ones to upset Secret here. But well, of course, this isn't an elimination series, so they'll have another chance if they end up going out. But of course, uh, off to a slow start in this game, but still could come back. Obviously, uh, they have how's comeback potential IG's lineup. They're not, not that they're that far behind. They're not really a very good late game. No, no. Oh, RTZ taking a shadow strike. Sonic Wave gonna try to deny himself. Not gonna happen. Ooh. Got excited for nothing. Yeah. Typical. Yep, typical. Right, Sai in the meantime. Taking oh. some harassment from Luo. He's actually in he's trouble. Try to go he for the TP. TP. He doesn't even he have mana of anything. Oh. He's gonna eat his way out. Oh, oh. actually, he might get out. <laughs> All right. Man at the last second. Yep. Close call, but does get out. Uh, IG coming back. I don't know. They're, they're, I don't feel like they're losing. I think they're ahead right now. I, I guess the net worth graph is like almost zero right now. It feels that way. Uh, the distribution of gold between the heroes, yeah. Uh, seems okay for them for now. The problem is their lineup really doesn't scale that well into late game. Quap tends to fall off. He goes utility items. Can get a refresh if you really want to deal a lot of damage, of course. But ultimately, heroes like Drow will outscale her. And then who's your carry on IG? They have Burning on an Axe. And they have Lua on a Brood. And Brood late game is... I, I don't know what Brood's win rate is on games that go beyond 45 minutes, but I feel like it's got to be pretty low. Generally pick it for the early yeah. game domination and then taking the phase. Well, incapacity is no longer more effect stuff. You know, you can get that death Holy zone. shit, the damage. Oh, man. Zai, Zai is going to give up damage to Ferrari. I think he would have won that duel if he dueled Luo. He dueled the hero that has way, way more health than the other one. And... Mm. A little bit of a mistake there from Zai. That's Ferrari. All right, he's going to be a carry now. He got 10 damage. Yep. Well, I mean, Quap is decent late game, too. You can build her into a semi-carry. You need to be very careful with not losing duels to, to Ferrari. If he loses one or two more duels to him, he could actually... That could encourage him to turn into a carry yeah. uh, even more. And it is true, Quap has decent stat games to, uh, to consider going for a semi-carry build, and it might be the game plan for IG. I think they will have to do that. But then the question is, do they have enough control when it, if she doesn't go for an Orchid Hex path? I think she will take one of those items at least, though. So, yeah, they probably have enough. Well, Secret's going to be happy with this Tier 1 bot and look to continue with the Tier 2. Zai, in the meantime, taking more harassment damage. Shadow Strike. Doesn't look like Lua wants to help with this. He's pretty low. Going to go for the tower first. Now Zai on the run. Getting slowed a bit. Ferrari doesn't have much mana to speak of, though. He's going to take a brute. Oh, is that going to be enough? Unbelievable. I didn't think that was enough damage, but just wow. enough. Ferrari for 20, man. He's moving up that list. <laughs> 4.6k, he got that tower, he got that kill, he got the previous kill, got the bonus damage. He's very rich now. Coming up roses here for Ferrari. Interesting net worth distribution. It looks funny. Like, the three cores of IG are on top, and then their two supports are completely bottom of the barrel. Actually, a fairly significant amount behind. Both of their supports, about 600 gold behind uh, their respective counterparts in secret, so... Well, we talked about this at the very beginning of the game. Of course, once Kuroki hits six, which is right now, his oh, birds come out with the Drow Aura. It's going to start hurting even more. I mean, they've already taken two towers. Look for them to get a lot more done in the very near future in a combination. And you want to push forward, but Lil is finally starting to find a bit of a groove here now on his brood where he can take control in this top lane. And there's going to have to be someone from Secret to keep it in check. And for the last couple of times, Zai's been stuck on that watch duty and he's been punished for it. So it might not be easy now for Secret to kind of move on forward with getting more objectives unless they can maybe take a team fight. Yeah, that's going to be very difficult for them for now. X just got his blink minute 10. Yeah, and they're going to smoke up right off the bat, too. So Faith and Burning looking for a kill. Tranquil's going to heal up. Burning, mm. Kuroki and Arteezy better be careful. Burning with the blink comes in. Going for Arteezy. Oh. And a Sonic Wave. Sure and sure the kill. And even the calling blade is popped for the death. And Kuroki will be the second one to go. And unfortunately for Secret, they're getting mauled over now. S4 came for TP support Soul Catcher. There's the calling blade counter to the grave. Yet again coming into play. That speed boost, which is probably uh, arguably one of the more important parts of that skill, allows him to get away safely. So three for nothing for IG. Man, when you when you shell grave a target who's almost dead, it almost <laughs> is like amplified, like calling this guy right here. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one like downside. Yeah, this is the guy you want to get with that ultimate. But well, this comes back to the. I'm, I'm not going to get to. The, I don't want to get too deep into this, but they did pick the dazzle before the axe when axe was still available against brood. I mean, if this ends up going into IG favor, you have to consider that perhaps a mistake in the drafting phase. But then again, if you get Dazzle with 
Brood, that's a pretty dirty combination too for IG. I think most teams don't really... I can't remember the last time I've seen that play. It's kind of gimmicky and it doesn't, it doesn't even counter Axe that well if that was the lane they were thinking about because with Berserker's Call you have so much armor that Shadow Wave doesn't really do much damage off or off. And Gust, holy crap, they're dealing a lot of damage with that aura. Couldn't get the stun off with the Visage familiar, but gonna go for this tier one. He's going Axe first, interesting. On Visage? On the Quam, so he wants to, oh. he wants to fight early. Yeah, so the cooldown was a 40 second cooldown that uh, with the Axe, as far as getting it initiated upon Axe using his ult. And down he goes to the Laguna Blade, burning saved by the disruption. Might be in some trouble though, down he'll go to the Soul Assumption. So it's a one for two in the end. Or is it the end? Ferrari looking for some more. 30 second cooldown with Sonic Wave. Meanwhile, top lane, Zai getting chased by Luo, who's gonna think better of it as he gets dusted. RTZ a little bit too late to the party. And Luo will be fine. They got their tier one mid lane. Oh, Ferrari. They can get more Ferrari. Does it have blink for four seconds? Second? Nope, oh. too far, but Soul Assumption is not gonna be enough. He was bottling along the way. Very close, but no cigar. <laughs> As an RTZ, he actually had his aura ready. I'm wondering if they could have killed that with the aura used for the bird. And a couple of right clicks there. Uh, oh, there was only one bird right now. Probably wouldn't have been enough here. I mean, that's another thing to keep in mind. Somebody like Kuroki playing this, this Visage, he's going to find his farm one way or another. I mean, it's a really easier to, have farm, to get farm on, considering it's support. I mean, I would argue as a four roll, probably the best farming hero for Karuki. As Barney's gonna initiate onto Puppy, and another easy kill going the way of IG. So once they get the Ag Scepter onto Visage, perhaps that's. I don't know, is that gonna be enough? I mean, right now it's snowballing in IG's favor, ever so slightly. Yeah, Secret will probably try to just slow down the game a bit and farm, but. It's definitely the, I want to say it's the most important item for Secrets to get in this game is going to be that Ag on Kuro. Uh, and I think IG knows it, and they'll they'll try to uh, shut down the Visage here. He had, he does get a Medallion first, and a lot of information being gained here by the, by the little spider link. Uh, is it going to be enough to turn it? I don't know, it's a really big advantage now. I wonder how big, this, how big an advantage is this? Is this like 4k? Just, alright, only two actually. Because their supports are still are still really low on gold, so maybe maybe not that uh, as bad as it looks on the scoreboard for Secret. Well, Axe working towards his Vanguard, and I'm sure into Crimson Guard, which is going to be amazing against Visage and Drow and everybody else that right clicks. Well, technically speaking, everybody's going to right click this range on Secret just because of the Drow Ranger. Hmm. Um, as there is a smoke now by Secret into the Roche pit. Get in the Roche pit. During Red Bull, did you guys have to be quiet during rushes? Uh, How did that work? Um, well. I think it was like put out there as like a guys make sure you do this because I just had that about like okay it's just common it's being blasted over PA you know it's it's loud there's a lot of noises yeah try not to be too suspicious about it but you can't really control the hype of the crowd when they see a smoke they tend to get pretty happy <laughs> yes yeah, smoke yeah. it's not the smoke I don't know but we've been missing out on a le level one roaches I miss yeah. those man those were fun yeah. Ooh. Well, they did, did you guys notice the... how quickly they killed Rush, by the way? Yeah, I couldn't even finish my thought. It it's was absolutely insane how good they're like this. With Shadow Wave with Medallion with the birds, so you always have multiple targets. Remember, your team's taking Alice and a Sonic Wave. Luna Blade will finish off the. The Legion Commander, Killing Blade takes care of the Aegis, but back will come Arteezy. Ferrari stuck in the midst of a bunch of birds, will drop as a result, so one for one, not including the Aegis. But the Ancient Stack was taken out for the most by Secret. It's buyback now on Zai, looking for oh. some defense mm. against... Oh, well, that's not that much gold when you bought back. Well, that's right, it's 40%, right? Kuroki yeah. getting initiated upon LSA to follow. And Culling Blade is available. He's not quite low enough. The urn, will it be enough to get him low? He could duck him now. He's doing work everywhere. Oh, oh nice yellow last second. The puppy's gonna put oh, that bad boy on the cooldown. Kuroki slowing, burning a little bit more. Oh, Gets great, and somehow they find the kill. Oh. What level is burning? Is he 10 or 11 on Axe? He's 10, yeah. Oh, the He actually timed the, the dunk as the best he could. He couldn't have dunked earlier, and then the time, the, that heal from Puppy was actually just perfect. It's pretty incredible. Was that a 4 for 1 fight? And then they bought back the Legion. They killed everyone, yeah. Well, including Aegis as well. Yeah. How big of a difference... I, I brought this up earlier. Actually, oh, the dust... Ooh, just out of range. Mm. How big of a difference do you think the no orb effect comes into play for Brood? 
We talked about it in theory before. Now we're seeing, we're not seeing it this yet, but possibilities for, and we talked about Desolator being a possibility because it's good for pushing. Um, it is cheaper now. Yeah, that's true. 300 recipe as opposed to 900. How big does that make for Brood in, in a realistic manner or outlook? I don't know. What what other orbs would be good for Brood? Doesn't really have great attack speeds. You can't really benefit that much Scotty. from the Maelstrom, Mjolnir, Scotty's, eh, I don't know. Everybody loves Scott. I don't think it's that important. I think the Desso is the best pickup, and it makes him e an even better split pusher. Uh, but that's pretty much it, I guess. It could have an impact on this game with how much pressure Luo can put if if he goes down that route. Uh, well, I still think if that's the if that's the approach you take with Brute, I still think Necro Book is more value for your money. Anyway, but you could get both, I guess. I always I was expecting for a while that we would see Brute even pick up something like Diffusal Blade, help with the slow. You can purge off with Dunham. But not something many of them really consider. And sure, I agree. The defensive purge is, is pretty cool for Brood. Yeah. It's very true. But Necro. Oh, Rogue taking a call. LSA Sonic oh, Wave. Whoa. They certainly got their revenge there. Whoa. <laughs> That's a lot of spells. No they got them. Top lane. There we have a dual Zyde taking a lot of damage. He might go down. Another dual loss, this time to Luo, who will apply all his pressure to Artis. He's going to get a double if he's not careful. And with the Shadow Demon help, should be enough. Not looking good for Secret now. As far gets the Ice Path Macropire only on the one. He takes a look with a blade to the back of the head, and that's four dead in favor of Ice Shield Puppy. Oh, gonna be the come. last fall that Dunk will finish him off at Team White. IG looking completely different in this game. Can we get. Uh, how many. Did they win a duel yet? No, I think he's 0 for 2. He's lost two duels, and this one that. Was the one that expired, or did, it, did he just. Uh, yeah, he's got to be for two, right? I only so, remember two. So Brutus won a duel, Quaff has won a duel, and that's it. That's... Zion's really not really his best game here. It's also difficult, I think. I mean, uh, but still, that kind of a duel... I don't know. It felt like it was obvious to set it up. He wasn't going to win that one-on-one. -on -one. He was holding him there for Drow to show up and help finish off Lua, but I guess they just didn't anticipate the power that Lua had with himself and his Brood Link, and he, they just quickly flipped the script. Well, on top of the team wipe, they're going to get an ancient stack. They got the tier two mid. The tier three top is almost dead. Don't think it's deniable quite yet. Oh, this grab. IG get a lot fast. out of this. Yeah, this is a dip. Woo. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good stuff. It's looking good for them. This is a well good set. recovery. Good recovery for It's looking IG, good though. for them. Yes, they just got a lot out of this game. <laughs> Queen of Pain did have the eggs, by the way, uh, for the past five minutes or so. I don't know if you're my worst that. friend, Shan. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, Luo my has worst acquaintance. 5K. What does he buy here? What's the best? I mean, he has basically nothing, right? Yeah. Like, as far as, like, core items. A little, items bit, a little bit of this, a little yeah. bit of that. It's a hodgepodge, as you said yes. before. Yes. He's like a, he's like a walking thrift store. Necro 3 just seems like a really solid choice. It's a way for... He can more or less guarantee that Jakiro takes the last will damage. Yeah, so we have Yules into Macropire, Ice Path as well. Gust will connect, and it's going to be enough to take out Faith, but that's all for duel. Faith. I hear the duel. Here the bomb goes coming. Nobody's going to win this one. They do get the kill, but no damage goes away of Zai, and that was about half a second too late. It's still... Uh, it's very important for Zai, first of all, that he gets a little bit of momentum, and that he didn't give damage away. For once. Even though he doesn't get it himself, at the very least, it wasn't a lost duel. He gets a little bit of a. He probably gets like mentally. It's it's good to get a little bit of recovery there and making a good play. It's gonna kind of hopefully kind of propel a bit forward in the game. Well, knowing that the duel is down, it's gonna be a free tower for Luo. Yeah, he's gonna be a pesky little spider in this top lane. Tier two was taken out though. Yeah, feels like a bit of what I said before. Secret want to move forward, get these objectives, but you got someone like Luo over there. Someone's got to be there to take care of it, and you really have to second guess where your commitments will lie in that moment. Uh, one drastic pullback and you miss out on big opportunities. If you decide to stay and push on forward, you know, you better hope you get a lot out of it because you can look back at your home base and there might not be much there. They got two thirds of that tier three, right? Or half, yeah, almost two thirds. That's actually pretty good for Secret. Considering how far behind they were, getting two kills and almost tier three there, including they also got the tier two, right? First. They got a hell of a lot out of those kills. Well, That's as far down as Secret is right now, it's one of the. It's like having a tiny whip. 
just give them a little bit of space, they'll take out your entire racks, even if they're down 10k gold. It's just something you have to, to worry about. And this is going to be 5 on 4 for the most part. Brute doesn't want to fight, he just wants to split push the bottom lane, or top lane. And we actually, we haven't been talking so much about the item progression and IG supports, because they used to be poor. We talked about it in the early game. Chuan now, Yules, half an Ags, uh, the Shadow Demon of, uh, of Faith, closing in on a 4 staff. And in addition to that, you've got Burning. His next item, I think, is coming up now on the Axe as well. Should be a BKB fairly shortly. I do believe, unless he wants to take a Halberd route, which is actually kind of nice against Secrets Heroes, to be honest. Uh, Halberd, very good item against Drow, good item against LC. Uh, but I'm guessing it's going to be the BKB so he can avoid the Bird Stun, Soul Assumption, all the damage of Jakiro. Really a great item against that hero. Looks like Butterfly was the choice for Luo. Just one shot of Butter. <laughs> Well, he did have 7k gold, essentially, <laughs> so I would hope he'd spend it on something. What to buy? What to he buy? Could, oh, what's that item? What's the new one that you can eat? Not a mango. A moon moon shard. shard. Moon shard, yeah. <laughs> you, I mean, you could eat not mango. <laughs> not mango. <laughs> Yules, oh. on an illusion. All right, they realize that their smoke yeah. didn't break. But this they gave away that they were smoked. Yeah. yeah. And IG weren't in the neighborhood anyway. They're looking to push bottom. They need to be careful not to lose territory in the mid lane here. Do they have Glyph on IG? Else they might be too late. They don't. They're gonna get back here real fast. It's gonna be burning 40 first. And okay, multiple. Oh, ports. they're going. Defensive weave already out. They're looking for this. This is the peaking window right now for your typical Mr. Trout lineup that 20 to 30 minute mark. Burn jumps in on the puppy we have inside. Cool on Schwab, but there's a disruption, the nice counter. Axe does die, buys back into the game. Laguna blade. Not enough damage taken away, but in fact, the lane is the one that died. Fade taking a ton of damage from Kuroki. Only one buyback to come out from IG. Like we said, it was the Axe. I believe that was a gem taken out. Uh-oh. Rain tracks. Finally, Luo comes to the rescue in the mid lane at his own base. Stunned a little bit too late from Visage. And Secret's going to go back. Pretty much happy with that exchange, although they did hit the range racks. That's not that big of a deal in the end. Uh, if they don't lose the melee here, I think it's a very ballsy play, and I think they did it knowing how far behind they are. If uh, if they just sit around and wait, they're probably going to lose the game uh, unless they can, like, if they can find some sort of meaningful farm and just stay, let's say, stay five to seven and a half k behind or something, then ten or fifteen minutes down the road, they might have a, a shot at fighting IG like that, but. They just realize it's going to be a 4 and 5. Brute doesn't really want to TP back, isn't strong enough in 5 yet, perhaps, and they get a pretty good trade out of that. I, I think even sacrificing, if they, the next step for them might be trading racks, and I think they should do that. Giving uh, the melee for, for a melee mid, for example, would probably be worth it. You gotta remember, those racks are worth a lot of money now. Yeah. I think they've been buffed up two times straight in the last couple of patches, and, you know. Being able to get that could be that one step to come right back into the game economy-wise. So you can just kind of feel the pressure that Seeker want to get the most out of this opportunity. Yeah. Speaking of economy, Kuro got the item that we were talking about. The most important item for Seeker just picked up the eggs. The eggs. Minute 24. Considering, like, if you looked at how the game was going, this is actually a really good timing for the Visage. And now the question is, where does he go from here? Do you think Solar Crest is the yeah. choice? Oh, yeah. I feel like it's really good. The evasion, even for a hero like Visage, is actually, even though you're support, the, the evasion for yourself is great to have. Although, looking over IG's lineup, they're, they're all about the burst. More or less, some spells for now. Well, Arteezy did pick up a BKB as well on, on the Drow Ranger, and I believe Burning is fairly close to his BKB. Uh, in addition, how's the yep. BKB going to work out for Arteez this game? I mean, the call goes through, Sonic Wave goes through. Laguna will go through eventually. I yeah, Laguna very soon will go through. How far is it? Why is he? 1500? I think he has one component on the courier. Or? Or is he flat? To, he might be flat 2k. 3k then. 3k. Oh, this is a really big fight that's going to happen right now. Uh oh. You heard it here first. The big fight's about to occur. Thanks, Sender, for the inside burning. Jumps in on Arteez. He's enough to take him out before anything happens. He pops his BKB, though, trying to create some space so he can get that damage. Faith goes down to Zion. Finally gets his first duel win of the game. Actually, maybe that's the second one. Lulu, in the meantime, trying to finish off the Dazzle, but he gets four-stepped on top of the cliff and four dead for IG. That's going to be a free rush for a secret. Thanks, smart ass. I agree with you. <laughs> I was agreeing with you in a sarcastic manner. I know. You're just oh, the worst. Huh? Yeah. Uh, pretty much. Wow. 5k swing. Really important thing about this fight. Quap did not have mana. 
it actually broke out and he, Ferrari was out of mana for his ult from the start of the fight, and it's a really big part of how they secure kills. They need to find a kill early in the fight with Sonic Wave, preferably on the Drow, so the aura disappears, and they just, they actually had no business going there. They, it's understandable that they don't want to give away this Roshan against this kind of lineup, but with no mana on Quap, that fight is so unlikely to come out as an IG pick. This Rax is going to go down so fast, and here's the duel with double damage from Zai. Disruption's going to pretty much counter the Rive. The bed is going to get enough, he's going to get the kill, and it's not enough for the damage. However, Ferrari getting initiated upon Graves going to save Zai. The dive continues, and look at this damage from Seeker. Unbelievable. They're going to take this Rax pretty much no problem, and just like that, they're back in this game, if not leading. One row fight. There's the Yules. Ice pack with the Visage Familiar stunned on top. Soul Assumption finishes off the Queen of Pain. And Secret's going to be quite happy with that. Is it going to attempt to fall back? Should be fine. Very nice gust from Arteza there as well. Preventing Axe from going for the counter initiate or the blink call. Uh, this game they just very continued on the quickly on the hand for IG. They were looking pretty good, but yeah, that, wow. that's pretty dramatic right there. And it's not, I don't even... I, I think IG's lineup is just not as strong as Secrets at all with a zero gold difference at this point. Like, Brood is not a strong hero at this point in time. Arteza still has the Aegis, keep in mind, S4, initiated the punish with the first of all, Quap died as well, bought back, Zai in the meantime, oh. trying to get a damage thing out, winner again for Ferrari, but how much is that going to matter, Arteza on the run with the BKB, still has the Aegis in stow, that's too dead for Seeker, he's going to attempt to TP out, but the disruption is there, they should be able to clean him up twice. Alright, he's cursed. Yeah, was, caster, <laughs> or he's cursed, dude. You did the easiest caster curse of my life. Meanwhile, I think top I lane, can win with zero top lane for friends. secret. The oh. creeps might get a, actual rest. Is this possible? Zai buys back. All right, he's gonna problem. save it. Guarding the catapult, not gonna be enough damage. That's a 5k swing again. Wow. All right. I don't think Lua was Thank top you, Cinder, lane at all. Thank you for the analysis. Right? You're welcome, guys. That was just all creeps. Doing my best to help you out. You're the best, Cinder. Don't be so hard on game. yourself. Just because you're the worst doesn't mean you're the worst. Yeah. You know? Nice. <laughs> really nice. <laughs> Gurgit the worst, we know that. Alright, plus true. one. Yeah. What do you think about um, a Puppy not going for Greaves? Because he went Treads instead of Arcane Boots. Do you guys feel the same way as me that Greaves are ridiculously good? Yeah. Like, ridiculously good. But they're not that good against IG's Light. Which is a lot more about magical than physical damage. But I still think it's it could prove. Very I guess that's like with the calling like something like the passive effects, you get a bunch of armor and HP regen when you get low. But then there's the calling blade, of course, yeah. that can counter that. There's a solar crest. He's by got the way. drums now. He got drums. It's a nice value pickup after, especially after the buff with a little more attack speed on the active. Uh, it's great to have one of in your team, and it seems like these days oh. core heroes don't really like getting drums. So getting it even this late, like 30 minutes in, in my team really counterintuitive to get such an, an item such as drums. But the way these fights are happening might be the most cost-effective pickup he can get. Maybe second to a Vlad's. So I don't know if they have one. Because if they don't, I would have liked to see that. Oh, RTZ. Oh, no, it's Burning's gonna initiate with the BKB onto S4 LSA and Laguna Blade and Calling Blade. Used to take out that poor Jakiro. Meantime, RTZ pops the BKB himself. Sonic Wave will go to three. Blue on the road. He's gonna be up. Here comes the counter initiation. Burning yet again on top of RTZ. The grave is it gonna be enough. They're gonna take the action work and Calling Blade. Chuan goes down as well. It's a three for one with the one buyback from Secret. Ferrari looks to be fine. As he, uh, the Legion Commander has the, the blade. That was really interesting. RTZ, you know, did his Shadow Blade, ran right past the IG lineup, looked to come from behind, got the quick silence on the Ferrari, took him out of the fight, but it was just burning, and the rest of the IG squad that jumped into the back line of the secret, well, did a lot of work, but they ended up turning it around, and now look at this. They are now back inside the IG base, and they quickly are going to be able to clear out this rack since nothing is done about it. Well, they fall back for now. Burn bought back again. This is his second buyback. So not mistaken. Initiated a bond pump. There's the Yules. Sonic Wave again. Upside gets the duel off. Is it going to be enough damage to get anybody with the damage? Ah! Burning will fall. That's the buyback down, and Brood will fall. The damage doesn't go anybody's way, but it doesn't really matter. The death is all that matters here, and the Rax looks to be secrets again. Second lane of Rax. No buyback for Burning. Do they just go for Megas? Uh, there's a T2 top still. They could just go for throw, perhaps. It's possible they could try to throw in this. Oh, man. There's a lot of big abilities for IG that are down for a little bit. I guess Sonic Wave will be available soon as... They are looking to try for the tier 4s. So this could backfire, but no axe for 40 seconds. You know, I was 
surprised IG actually initiated on that. They had like 15 seconds to go before they had a 5-on-5. Five five. They initiated into a 3-on-5 there with the buyback from Axe. And just took a, a fight with four numbers. Again, it seems really Perhaps the last stand for IG and Zai looking for a duel, but the Yules will count him. Juan, although it doesn't even bother, he's just going to get the kill the old-fashioned way. Luo, in the meantime, going upon Arteezy. There's the duel to finish off the spider. Arteezy graved, and this looks to be the end of IG in this first series. Secret going to take this 2-0, and this game was back and forth. This is what we were waiting for, this game. Man. Such a close game, and still 32 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> it was a close but, game. I mean, yeah. This is the first game we've had in the tournament that wasn't... Am I, yeah, this is the first game in the tournament so far that wasn't ridiculously one-sided. Yeah. It's still a 32-minute GG, but that's just the... The way, line, the way Secret's lineup was composed, this is what can happen if they get any sort of comeback at this point in time. And I think IG are going to be uh, 